Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella, a second year medical student. So whenever I searched up on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, like the daily life of a medical student or anything about medical students in general, there's one thing that always kept popping up, an iPad. Using an iPad to study for medical school or should I buy an iPad for medical school? Why you should buy an iPad for medical school? And I'm not gonna lie, I um, gave in to that and ended up getting an iPad for myself. I got the iPad Air Generation 5 and with it I got the keyboard and the Apple Pencil. And now I just want to go through how I use my iPad for medical school. The main focus of this video is going to be the top apps that have been really, really greatly helpful in medical school and just apps that I use on a daily basis, just in general to organize my studying, organize my life. So these are my top iPad apps and how I use my iPad for medical school. If you're interested in more videos about the life of a uni student in London and just in general tips and tricks for things like the A-levels and UK examinations and study tips in general, then please make sure to subscribe and push the notification button and without any further ado let's get started so I'm gonna start by talking about one of the best apps that I have been using lately for the iPad and that is Good Notes, which is basically a note-taking app on Good Notes, and I use it for so many things. Things like, for example, planning certain events or any random thoughts I have or for opening textbooks on my iPad as well because it's really helpful. You can highlight and let me just show you how it looks on my iPad. So this is my GoodNotes app and I've just sectioned it into folders. I'm not going to lie, it's not the most organized, but we're going to work on that. It's fine. And um, so as you can see, I have a lot of different sections. We have uni, which is the main one. I have a bit of random. So this is mainly my note taking and just everything notes in general. And as you can see, it's called randoms because essentially it is very, very random. I'll have more structured notes like here, for example, this is all neurology. So basal ganglia, cerebellum and all the different aspects of neurology. But then I also have really, really messy notes. And these are basically things that I write down while doing my Anki and it just makes so that Anki I'm not just doing it mindlessly without checking that I know the Anki that I'm like you know pressing good for. We also have some other things there's some practice questions um, some high yield content for last year uh, some uni prep this is just me trying to be aesthetic it didn't really work out. We have some other things as well YouTube and planning so this is just age or basically a notebook on all things YouTube how I want to improve my videos how I want to improve my editing etc if you guys have any tips or things that you'd like to see in my videos coming up make sure to comment them down in the comments below. You also have languages. I've been through the process of learning a few languages. I'm mainly focusing on Korean um, but basically I just write my notes for the lesson etc and yeah. You also some have other things like randoms and then textbooks. These are all the different um, medicine textbooks so I like having them online as well because it just helps so much when I'm trying to search because something that's really good in good notes is for example if I go here in anatomy and then I want to search for example um, the heart. It will show me every single page where the heart is found and you can search more niche stuff as well but it's just really helpful in general and it even works with handwriting although I'm going to say that handwriting doesn't always work the best sometimes it doesn't recognize handwriting especially mine is sometimes a bit difficult and um, but it's quite useful and then we have some Quran so this is just um, for Quran studies and reflections on different surahs and ayats in the Quran as you can see there is a lot of potential in the good notes app and I know there's others that people use like Notability, you could even use OneNote, so it's all about experimenting and seeing whatever works for you. The next app we have, which I'm sure every single medical student will know, and if you don't then now is the time to explore it, it's the best app out there for active recall and making sure that you're learning everything properly, and that is Anki. So as you can see, this is how my Anki looks like. Basically, Anki is an app where you can make flashcards and depending on how well you know the flashcards, the app itself then gives you intervals to revisit the flashcards again. And it just so makes it that you are doing active recall, you're having space repetition, all of these kind of keywords that we've been hearing a lot lately on Study Tube. It's essentially, it really has been so helpful with my course. I feel like all the information is in there and I don't know how it got in there, but Anki's helped me in getting it in there. That makes sense. So you can set the amount of new cards that you want to have every day and you can set the amount of reviews. As you've seen, I've done my reviews already, but I still have some new cards to do. And then you can organize it by lecture. So what I usually do is I have all the lectures written down and then I have cards in each lecture. And as you can see here, these are all the lectures for cardio rest. And then you have metabolism and brain and behavior and then some drugs and anatomy specials. I also have my year one cards, which as you can see, I haven't done in a while. 
um, and then some languages. But basically Anki is an amazing app. If you aren't using it yet, then make sure that you are using it. It's a bit of a learning curve with Anki. There are so many functions that I still don't know about. I still have to search up how to do this, how to do that so many times. So it is a bit hard when you want to get to more advanced settings. But at the start, I think it is quite straightforward. Now something that's also been a life savior, and I've mentioned this in a few videos before, just the idea of making to-do lists and making sure that you're always organized in your day. And this app, Todoist, has been absolutely life-saver in this. And I've just been organizing my days, scheduling, structuring my tasks in such a nice way. These are some things that I want to get done. And you can also set it out so that it is repeating every single day. So for example, for me, read Quran, go through Anki and pray. It's set for every day and I have to take it off every day. And then you have some other stuff that is important as well. For example, I can just say today, um, I have a PBL session, so go through PBL material. And then I can also say go through PBL material um, next Thursday, because that's what PBLs usually are. And it sets it for Thursday, as you can see. So it's a really nice app, really simple, and I make it so that it looks like this on the widget. Um, so every day, every time I open my app, I always see my to-do list tasks and it just makes it easier so I remember to do them. But that's an app that I really like using. Another one is this Atlas. So this is something that I use when I'm studying anatomy. It's just basically a really nice human anatomy atlas for uh, learning anatomy and just visualizing it a bit more. As you can see here, you literally have all of the different systems sectioned for you. You can look at all the different muscles. For example, if I want to look at the skull, and the cranial nerves. Um, I can look at the skull, but if I also want to look at just remove the temporal bone, I can hide it and have a look at the sphenoid and the frontal, and it's just way easier, really nice in visualizing things. So I definitely recommend this if you're doing anatomy or medicine or any subject that needs you to have anatomical knowledge, so helpful. And then you can also ask it to give you information on the different structures. So you can see here it gives me information and also some clinical relevance. Obviously it's not a comprehensive list, but it's just the main diseases. You can also say it out for you and then show the different parts of the, the bone. So this is the sphenoid, the greater wings, the body, etc. the lesser rings, and you can just see where everything is. So it's really nice, really helpful. Now another app that I really, really like, it's not really an app, it's a function that Apple has or iPad has. I'm sure Samsung has it as well, where you can make shortcuts. So this is the app right here, shortcuts. And it basically allows you to make an icon that when you press opens, for example, your course or whatever, and this is what I'm using it for. Um, I have this shortcut right here. And when I open it, it opens my um, university like page, homepage. So this is year two of brain and behavior. So it just opens it that I don't have to every single time go and Google, search up QM plus and then log in, etc. It just has it ready. And then I can go through lectures really quickly. Really helpful and you can explore different things with it. Also had it on Anki, as you can see I had it on anime as well. And then it gives you some like images of shortcuts that you can have. So take a break. This sets you like a timer to take a break. And it's just really useful, like it's really versatile. So I definitely recommend you have a look and explore this function a bit. Now this app, I'm sure you've also heard of it so many times. It's been a crazy life organizing app or tool that people can use. You can literally organize anything, uni, work, to-do lists, and just so you can write notes in it, and it's just so versatile, and that is Notion. So I have a Notion tutorial actually on my uh, YouTube channel, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I just wanna show you a quick look into my dashboard. I have different like notebooks where I can write some things that you know I occasionally look at, so I want it to be uh, quick access. And then I also have a to-do list right here, which I don't use as much, but it is a nice feature to have and a calendar and here are some different apps that are pages that I really like making use of so my university one is the main one obviously um, it has all the different modules and the lectures and kind of a five-year timetable and then my uni calendar itself with any deadlines I just have a lot of different areas in it I have my different lectures that I focused on and then I also have like different assignments and things that I haven't done yet and things that are due. So it's really helpful and just really beneficial and versatile. Back to my dashboard, I also have other ones like ISOC, for example, the ISOC Society in Uni, YouTube, Dean, so religion and just religious studies. I also have this Quran journal, which has been really cute. I've discovered it recently and it's actually really nice. And um, so you can have like a solar tracker and you can have reflections and habit tracker. And reflections is really nice. I'm making use of it. I'm just basically writing any thoughts I have on any like 
videos that I've watched recently. Now, another app that I really like is Memento. So, um, so as you can see here, Memento has just different, like, it's basically a journaling diary. I'm not really a journal person, as in I don't journal every day, but I've been really wanting to get into it because I just realized the importance of reflection. It's so important if you wanna learn anything from any experience, you have to reflect on it and sit down and like think about what next steps you wanna do with this experience. Now, another app that's also really nice, I'm sure all of you, I mean, you, we all have it on our iPad and I've been making a lot of use of it recently is the Books app. Um, so currently I'm reading, oh, I've just highlighted all of these. <laughs> currently I'm reading Jade City by Fonda Lee. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm excited to read it. Um, but the books app is really nice. You just basically have a book on your um, disposal. And I usually read it within like my Pomodoro break when I'm studying. So it's really nice, like extra to have. And you can get a lot of books from the Apple website. And then you also have the Kindle app, which you can download as well, but I like the books app. So this is basically mainly it for like my most used apps when I'm using my iPad. Um, I have a lot of different other apps that you can see here. So I have my editing app, DaVinci Resolve, YouTube Studio, Netflix, obviously for the occasional kind of break. Yeah, that's mainly it for what I use. If you'd like a more in-depth view of how I use Anki, for example, or how I use GoodNotes, then let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for videos that I should make in the future, then please let me know as well. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.